Today we are going to build a website using an AI plugin from Figma and the big, uh, I'm going to tell you the name of the plugin and how it works in this video. There is a lot of buzz around AI and it will replace designers, web designers. We are, I am testing out different services that provide web design, user experience design, UI design. So let's get started and see whether it stands to its name or not. So here we have, I have a new file, draft file. I'm going to go into plugins, UX Magic AI. So it generates basically wireframes for a website. Now I'm going to test it out. I have already created a free account. So I'm going to click over here and this is uh, how it feels and looks. So it says I can write 500 letters and just like this, uh, for example, number of pages, Let's say I want to create two pages, uh, create. Okay. So this is the button maximum. I can create five screens. So right now I have clicked on generating two screens. So let's find out. Okay. So we have something over here. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> let's do the other one export. This magic is ruining everything. <laughs> it shouldn't be called UX magic. It should be called ruining your designs. So I have another one, which is okay. So what happened here? So it actually merged in these. So what happened? Let me just go back I create a website for an online. Okay. So I think I haven't. Where, where are my screens? This is really, really bad user experience. You can see I have lost my screens. Let's use this again, started something. So this is really, really bad user experience. For example, I have used some credits and this is really, really bad user experience. It shouldn't be called user UX magic. It should be called use UX. Okay. So it gave, it gave me error. It has a, a lot of things, but why it is giving me errors exporting this? It shouldn't give me errors exporting this. Okay. So I think they have, they have actually made already made something, uh, good for this. And this is really, really, again, I would say it is not that great. Um, okay. So logo home contact. I'm not sure what is that? Why is this whole space is for the navigation? Navigation is already opened. Let me see if I can hide this navbar. Okay, so it is not adjusting to the height. This is okay. Uh, this is good. Just okayish kind of work. So I can do the same amount, same thing. I have a lot of landing page design or wireframe designing UI kits. I can use them and I can quickly design something similar to this, or even my junior designer, they can design anything similar to this. The design, uh, before, uh, it actually tried to design something for me, which was my website, create a website for an online design instructor with testimonials and let's give it uh, and a video introduction okay so let's try to generate something else i am not impressed really really not impressed it must be something uh, unique and it should have uh, something you know let's remove remove this or let's keep it over here and create a new frame over here and select it and export like this. So let's see what happens now, because be before that it actually replaced my older design. It should create a new frame and uh, it should generate everything inside that. This is good. This is good. Uh, okay. So I am still not impressed. This is really, really basic kind of designs. I think I can do better wireframes than this. This is. This is too basic, man. This is, this AI is actually ruining everything. So this is what lacks in artificial intelligence, which is the direction. 
so if you cannot uh, you know pinpoint everything you have to tell them the style of the design you have to give it inspirations you have to provide it with a lot of details to get some results so i think uh, quickly if if you you want to build or design something you can quickly grab ideas for two or three inspirations online already your competitors you can study them and you can uh, build a wireframe uh, with uh, you know with wireframe kits you can just drag and drop let me show you one wireframe i did i think it hardly took me 30 minutes or maybe an hour maximum kangaroo ventures this one this is a startup and i designed the landing page for them startup this is my copy and let me show you uh, where are the wireframes so here we have the wireframes so you can see this is the wireframe and it is a lot better you can see now i i i it took it took me like 30 minutes or 35 minutes to create quickly this something like this you can see this is services section uh, another unique selling points ready to start pricing section these were already built i uh, used a wireframe kit i purchased a premium kit for figma and these are the sections there they were already built over here so i just altered some of the things i just put some of the logos and nothing else everything here is just a wireframe and this is the final result so okay so let me show you the final result so this is a landing page for a startup uh, that was a us uh, firm and you can see our services everything is same just the design is a lot better okay so this is how it should be or it should have something at least similar to this one if even if i am using or generating wireframes with the an ai tool it should have some proper structure for each landing page or website like um, features like services like footer so they have a proper separation with different uh, sizes and everything so i am really not impressed with this ux magic ai tool uh, I, I if you know any good tool do let me know in the comment section below and i will review it next so this is my video about ux magic and ai tools or ai plugins for figma this is the first one i test i will test more uh, once i get the list of all the ai tools uh, we'll meet you soon in another video i am mohammed Hassan. i am a ceo of pro design tech this is a design i own and design agency we have a small team and we design and build websites SaaS apps uh, all that all that ux and ui design thing ux research usability testing and a lot of things so this is all i will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye